Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, I'm with the female boss. When is it? Boss of all bosses. You see her right now. Okay, so she's into real estate. She has a bank. Can you believe that? <laughs> okay, started at real estate a few years ago and does over $200 million in real estate transactions. And so we're going to be hearing her story, how she started and how it's going. Uh, I can assure it's going to be an inspiring American story, right? So tell us your name. My name is Benicia Poole Watson. Benicia Poole Watson. Yes. Okay, so you're originally an American, right? I am. Born African, in the United States. Born first in generation. the generation. First generation. Have you traced your ancestral DNA? Whether you're from <laughs> Ghana or from Nigeria. I have, Who knows? I, you might be my cousin. I've traced it. But yeah. I just, ha I, I don't remember it, but I did trace it. Oh, really? Yes. yes. Cool. <laughs> I think I'm from Ghana. Oh, from I, Ghana, right? Okay. Try and do it. Everybody's tracing. Like Bishop T.D. Jakes is from Nigeria. Oh, wow. The Igbo tribe. Yeah. yeah. And he's traced back home. Right? So, <laughs> so uh, how, what were you doing before real estate? Before real estate, yeah. I was uh, just a twinkle in my mother's eyes. Okay. I've been doing real estate ever since I was 19 years old. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, real estate was like the first thing you started with started investing in real estate. Wow. Okay. So, um, here in Dallas or where? California. California. So, when did you move to Dallas? I moved to Dallas about eight years ago. Okay. So, why Dallas? So, I was working corporate America. Yeah. And that job transferred me here to Dallas. Okay. But being transferred here to Dallas was God a bigger God had a bigger plan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I thought I was coming here to work. Yeah. And do my job, and then eventually move to New York or yeah. some other place in the yeah. United States. Yeah. And um, when I got to Dallas, yeah, I, I've been here ever since. Never left. My job would transfer me like every year. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you move from corporate America to real estate? Yeah. So I essentially started in. Uh, real estate by getting a real estate license. Okay. Transitioning from corporate America, I actually prayed and I asked God, yeah. where do you want me to be? What do you want me to do? I can yeah. do so many things. I have a law degree. I have a other education. Wow. And, a law degree. Yes. Come on. Yep. I have two master's degrees. Wow. So I'm very educated. I could do whatever I want, but yeah. God said, get a real estate license after praying. Wow. And I got a real estate license, passed the test. I sold over 200 houses my first year in real estate. Wow. <laughs> 200 yeah. where did you get that force from it's a natural instinct in me it's just a <laughs> desire to want to help people so yeah if i can help you and i put you in a house now i want to help 10 people yeah and change their life and now i want to help 100 people and change yeah. their life and now it's a thousand people and i so it just kept feeding me. it was like a hunger to want to help other people it was bigger than yeah. having a license and making a commission it was really about helping yeah. someone else yeah on their journey in life wow yeah. amazing so where where did the bank by the way guys you own a bank right so where did the bank thing come in yeah so again just taking the opportunity to touch as many people as i can i started speaking yeah at events and yeah. i went to an event and someone pulled me to the side and asked me would you like to own a bank wow because i told them i made a lot of money in real estate yeah and clearly had the qualifications financially yeah, yeah. and opportunity presented itself. I talked to the attorneys and next thing you know I was an owner of a bank. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> wow. That's a short version of it. That's a short version. I'm sure there's a long there's version. There's a lot. There's, there's a, I, mean, I mean, so that we can be very real, what were some of the most difficult aspects of, of being you in that sector? In real estate? Real estate, yeah. You know, I'm very personable. So I love people. So yeah. I like to talk to people. I like to help people. And yeah. the challenge is everyone you can't help. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes you're going to talk to people and they say, no, I'm not looking right now. Uh -huh. you, they may say, no, I already yeah. know someone who yeah. can help me. That rejection the sometimes. The rejection part. Yeah. So you have to have enough strength and enough skill to yeah. help me. You know, don't get down on yourself when you mm -hmm. hear a no. You have mm -hmm. to just keep going. You have yeah. to keep going. So every day you wake up, it's like Groundhog Day. You mm -hmm. have to keep mm -hmm. persevering. You have to have passion. You have to have grit. You have to yeah. have 
yeah. and follow through yeah. in your own self and your mm -hmm. own dreams because you're going to hear a lot of no's before you hear a lot of yeses. Mm. So you just have to keep knocking on the door until mm. the door opens or guess what? Just create your own door. Oh, come on. <laughs> now, you know, give me some. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, bitch it. <laughs> That's cool. That, that, that's cool. But for, for women in this industry, because we don't have a lot of women as big as you are. What, why so? And how did you overcome all that? Well, it starts with your foundation. You know, I yeah. have a good support system of women in my family. My mother was strong. My aunts were strong. Wow. The women around me were very strong-minded. They yeah. always said, I'm not going to let anyone tear me down. Wow. I'm not going to let anything pull me down. I'm wow. going to get up every day with my head held high and have wow. confidence. Wow. And because you have confidence and you walk with that, yeah. people can see that. Wow. People can see that you are a, a stature. Wow. You know? So wow. just and within yourself, it starts with confidence. Yeah. Amazing. 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 Uh, for women who are, who are watching and are wondering how can a woman, you know, be this big, owning a bank, what's your encouragement to them? When people, women want to be an entrepreneur like you. If you have a dream, if you have a vision. Yeah. Follow through, write it down, manifest the things that you want. Put yeah. yourself in the places, in the rooms, in the spaces that you want to get into. Yeah. So if I want to be friends with someone, I need to go to the spaces where they are. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like you're going in there to attack that person. Yeah, yeah. You're going in there because you want to learn and observe things. Mm -hmm. Be of value at the end of the day. If you're going to attach yourself to someone or yeah. ask for help, yeah. come with something that's going to add value to that person. Wow. Yeah. Um, and I think that's where it starts. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, do you think that being vulnerable uh, to failure is an, an element, an ingredient that you need to bring along with you. Yeah. Every successful person has failed. Yeah. Don't mm. let them fool you when you see them doing all this stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. It took work to get there. This yeah. is not something that started overnight. Absolutely. They fall down, yeah. they cry, yeah. they fail, yeah. they're praying, yeah. you know, their husbands leave them, their yeah, wives leave true. them, they're Very lonely, true. their friends are doing this, people are taking advantage of them, Bridget. they're hitting rock bottom before yeah. they get to the top. It's yeah. almost like that cartoon where it bounces off the ground and shoots straight up. Come on. You have to hit that ground first yeah. before you shoot straight yeah. up. So Absolutely. You're going to find that in the space of success, yeah. there will be ups and downs. This mm. is God's plan. In mm. our perfect world, it will go straight up like this. But mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. God's plan is we're going to go curve. We're yeah. going to go up. We're going to go down. Come on. Stay on that roller coaster. Strap on your seat. Come on. It's going to be a ride. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are enjoying this. Amazing. Come on. Are you guys enjoying how or what? Yes. 